Hi, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have configured MySQL database in our Spring Boot project. In this lecture, we will see how to save Wikimedia data into MySQL database. Well, we have already written a Kafka consumer which will consume a data from the Kafka topic. Next, we need to save that data into the MySQL database, right? So in this lecture, let's see how to save that Wikimedia data in a database table. Let's head over to the IntelliJ IDEA and let's quickly create a JP entity to you know store the records into the database table. We'll go to Kafka consumer database project, go to main package, right click new and then choose package and let's give package name as entity. Hit enter. Within entity package, we are going to create a class. Let's give class name as wiki wikimedia data something like this hit enter and let's create a fields like private long id and then private string wiki event data all right so let's keep these two fields now let's annotate this class with at entity annotation so in order to make this class as a jp entity we have to annotate this class with at entity annotation from jpa okay next let's use at table annotation in order to provide table details so let's give table name let's give table name something like wiki media underscore recent change something like this next let's have a at id annotation to make this field as a primary key let's also use add generated value annotation to provide the primary key generation strategy so let's give identity and here we need to provide lob annotation because the event data is quite huge right so in order to store large data we can use at log annotation okay great now we need to create a getter setter methods right so we have already added a lombok library we can leverage lombok provided annotations to automatically create a getter setter methods so here i am going to use at getter annotation from lombok library to create a getters method for these fields and also let's choose at setter lombok annotation okay so these two annotation will basically create a getter setter methods for these two private fields okay great now what we'll do we'll create a jp repository that is spring data jp repository for this jp entity so go to main package right click new and then choose package and let's give package name as repository and then within this repository package we are going to create an interface let's call it as wiki media data repository perfect and let's extend this interface from jp repository interface and then pass post argument as a entity type that is wikimedia data followed by long as a second argument type okay perfect now we have created spring data jp repository so it will basically give a crude methods to perform database operations on given entity now let's go to kafka consumer class that is kafka database consumer here we'll inject spring data jp repository and then we'll call respective method to save the event data so here just declare the spring data jpa repository that is wiki media data repository let's call it as data repository and let's use constructor based dependency injection so let me generate the constructor over here okay we no need to add at at order annotation because this spring bin contains only one parameterized constructor now we have injected wiki media data repository 
okay now let's go and let's call it save method to save the event message so here i will create an object of wikimedia data jp entity new wikimedia and then i am going to set the data that is event message next call data repository dot save method and then pass wikimedia data okay perfect now what we have done we have injected wikimedia data repository and then we have called its save method to save this wikimedia data object okay great now let's go ahead and let's run the spring boot project and let's see how the data will be stored in a mysql database we'll go to main entry point class that is spring boot consumer application from here just run the spring boot project and you can see the consumer kafka consumer is running similarly let's go ahead and let's run the kafka producer so go to kafka producer class uh, project that is kafka producer wiki media and then go to main entry point class that is spring boot producer application and just run this project so let me select the spring boot product you know producer application over here and just start it and here you can see two tabs spring boot producer application spring boot consumer application and spring boot producer application it will basically you know retrieve the real time stream data from the wikimedia right and here you can see the logs in the console and in a spring boot consumer application you can able to see the events are you know storing in the database you can see the statements right insert into wikimedia underscore recent change and then the value is passing so let me stop both the instances and we can see the log over here you can see the insert statement insert into this table and this is the data isn't it it means that we are successfully you know storing the wikimedia data into the database so let's go to mysql workbench and here let's refresh the schemas and go to tables and select rows from the table and you can able to see a wikimedia event data is successfully stored in this table well let me recap what we have done so far we have created a multi-module mine project within that we have created two more projects one for kafka producer another for kafka consumer well we have created a kafka producer uh, project to implement kafka producer to read the real-time stream data from the wikimedia and write that data to the kafka topic and then we have created kafka consumer project to consume the real-time stream data from the kafka topic and write that data to the mysql database i hope you understood how to use apache kafka as a broker to exchange messages between producer and consumer in a spring boot project